Hey guys, so I am a little bit stressed out today and in the middle of what the uh, professionals call a con crunch. Uh, Steel City Comic Con is this weekend. It's the horror edition and I am cosplaying Pugsley Adams on Saturday and Dale from The Walking Dead on Sunday. I don't have very much ready for it. So today I am just kind of like running around trying to get some stuff done for cosplay and I just thought I would I don't know, bring you guys with me and we can hang out. A lot of the stuff that I'm doing today is experimental. It's stuff that I have never tried before for cosplay, um, especially uh, with dealing um, with aging clothes. I really wanna try to look like I've been through the ap uh, zombie apocalypse. So hopefully I can get like a good piece of this stuff done. I have this afternoon to work on it and then I work tonight and then I work tomorrow morning and then I have the rest of Friday evening. So basically I have I don't know when you put it all together I have a day so I feel like I should be able to get this done I don't know if you're wondering what I'm doing right now I'm actually opening an Amazon box because the last little things that I did not have for these cosplays came in leave it to Amazon to catch it in clutch <laughs> so I have um, a cleaver that I'm just going to uh, carry around for Pugsley because I feel like I needed a prop and then I did get a gray wig. This is only the second time I'll be cosplaying with a wig for Dale because he is, he's an old man. Um, and while I don't want to wear the beard, I still want to have gray hair. And also, I've always wanted to do like the gray hair, so a wig would be just fun for that anyway. The first time I used a wig in cosplay was for Judy Funny last weekend. And the wig was maybe like $15 on Amazon and it was very nice for the price. This is about the same. Please be just as nice as the orange wig from last week. Oh. <laughs> I'm stuck. This one does not come with a wig cap, but that's okay because I already have one that came with Judy Funny. It seems, oh, it seems pretty nice. I'm not really in the position to put this on right now, but um, there's going to be like a bucket hat on over it and I'm thinking maybe to just like put it in a side pony and then I'll be Lady Dale. Nobody's going to know who I am. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> I'm going to get all kinds of weird looks. I think the first thing I'm going to try to do is uh, bleach out the shirt I have for Dale. I found this Hawaiian shirt at a thrift store. It is a little too vibrant for what I'm going for. So I'm gonna use like the teeny little bit of bleach and um, some water and see if maybe I can bleach this shirt. I've never done this before. I really hope I don't ruin it. So I thought about it a little more and I'm actually not going to bleach this because it's too close to the time. It's the only shirt I have for him and I'm kind of too afraid of ruining it. So I am just gonna, um, I'm just gonna get it dirty and hope for the best. This will fall under the category of one of the weirder things I've done for cosplay. We don't have a front or backyard. We live in an apartment, but we are surrounded by wood. So I have found um, kind of an open area where I can try this out. So I have all of my clothes right here. And then I have this can of spray paint. It was recommended to me that you, um, you spray the spray paint kind of like further away from the clothes but close enough that like the little particles will still catch it and so it gives you that kind of like ashy dirty apocalypse vibe that is the hope I'm already not bleaching so I really really need this to work wish me luck This is actually working very well. Let me show you. So I'm getting weird looks from neighbors, but it really, like, it really dirtied everything up. And even like where I messed up these little paint blotch thingies right here, I mean, I feel like it kind of adds to it. We have a beater. Like, this has done a fantastic job. 
Let the record state that a guy came out on his back patio and watched me do that the whole time. It just like stared at me. I did not appreciate that very much, um, but I guess that is apartment living. I did forget to bring the hat down, so I have to spray the hat real quick, but it'll be just like the other things. This method for aging things, thank you, thank you, thank you so much to the person that recommended this to me. I can't remember your name right now, but you're in the Ohio River Valley Cosplayers group. This was great. So helpful. Seriously. I'm piecing everything together while I'm waiting for the other stuff to dry. I put on the wig and the hat. This is ridiculous. I'm so excited to see this whole outfit come together. I look so crazy right now. I love it. <laughs> so the next thing I'm doing is taking this acrylic paint and I'm just going to paint little like cuts and nicks um, just little bits of blood on the costume just to add a little extra little something to it At this point, I'm feeling pretty good about Dale, so I just um, got everything together for Pugsley. Originally, I was going to hem the skirt. I have decided against it. It doesn't need to be any shorter. It, I mean, it hits like right above the knee. Um, I'll show you guys in a second. All I have to do is iron it at this point. But um, I don't know. Sexy cosplay is not my thing necessarily. I just want to portray characters I enjoy and do it in kind of like a fun, weird, different way. So I'm going to leave it as it is and just hit it with an iron and I think that's going to do it today. But real quick, I will show you what I have put together for Pugsley Adams. Literally had to buy nothing. I already had this shirt. I like that I have the bow too because I'm really going to kind of like femme him up, especially with makeup. And then um, the skirt is just like the suspender skirt. And like I said, it just needs hit with an iron. And then after that, I think I'm done. Hot damn. I know I originally had more projects planned to begin with. And so I, there was a lot of plans in my head that have been scrapped. But I really like how everything's coming together. And um, everything has been like very cheap too. Uh, Pugsley are things I already had except for... The cleaver which was just a couple dollars on amazon just for a photo prop and then um dale everything literally everything came from the thrift store except for the white tank top that was five dollars at walmart spray paint was a dollar at walmart i mean like everything has been like incredibly cheap so always a plus for that I think when i get home tonight i'm going to do a makeup test for pugsley because so much of that costume is going to rely on me having like good makeup for it um, but I don't want to go to work looking like a total ghoul so <laughs> I'll do that when I get home and then um, tomorrow I think I will film like the packing process like things I bring to a con stuff like that I always like watching other people's videos I always get like good ideas from them so I think I might do the same thing and then after that um, you will see vlogs from Steel City Horror Con, the, uh, Dead Man's Party and the Living Dead Weekend from the Monroeville Mall it's going to be really really fun i'm so excited but now i am off to get ready for work unfortunately so uh thank you guys for watching i hope you have a great day remember i do make videos every single day so subscribe if you would like to hang out on the daily other than that i hope you have a great day and i will see you tomorrow bye